All right, so we're checking out the Foxier Cat 2 FPV camera. Comes in a micro version here on the left in black and a mini version here at AC in white. They both come in black and white versions. Uh, the first Cat camera was uh, about a year ago came out and it was a full size camera only. And I believe that's discontinued now. And now they only come in the mini size and the micro size. The full size is not available. So previously these two sizes were not available. You only had the full size. If you wanted to use the night camera, you know, obviously you call this a starlight camera. So I'm not really big into flying at night, but if you are, uh, for whatever various reasons, because uh, nighttime flying is better for you, then this is probably the camera you want to check out. Even more so than the Toothless series from Fox here. That's a very good night camera as well. But this one is kind of give you visibility in almost completely dark conditions. I think the Lux rating is 0 0.0001 Lux. It's the same specs as the original cat camera from a year ago, but in the full size. So if you're looking for smaller size night camera, then this one is definitely one you want to be able, want to check out. Okay, so just to go over the specs real quick here, it's a uh, one third inch sensor, CMOS sensor, 16 by nine, uh, I believe is a native aspect ratio, but it is 16 by nine and four by three switchable and PAL and NTSC switchable. 1200 TV lines, and as I mentioned before, it's a 0 0.0001 Lux rating, so you can see things in very, very low light conditions. This does come with this uh, 2.1 millimeter low light lens here. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what the aperture is. I think it's an F2, but obviously it's a pretty big aperture, as you can see. Pretty big lens overall to let in a lot of light so that the sensor can uh, get you the best image possible. And the mini and the micro versions here, they believe they're using the both the exact same lens. Okay, so this is what the uh, micro version weighs. It's coming in at 10.5 grams, and the mini version it's coming in at 12.7 grams, so it's just a little bit bigger case on the mini version. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, settings on the camera and also the field of view. So, as I said, this is a uh, 16 by 9 native aspect ratio. So, uh, I believe this I believe this uh, is in 16 by 9 mode right now. So, the width here is you're seeing the maximum width side to side. So, you see the door there on the left, and on the right there you can see that bookcase. And then the vertical field of view, I believe, is going to be the same when I switch to 4.3. You can see the light for the fan at the top there, and at the bottom is the top of the desk, the cutting match. So that's what it looks like in 16 by 9. Let's go take a look at what the field of view looks like. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and switch the field of view here from 16 by 9 to 4 by 3. And let's see what that looks like. So as you can see, the vertical field of view is uh, maybe a little bit less. And the horizontal field of view is much less. So you can see the door over there on the left one. You can't even see the bookcase anymore. And if you pan over to the right, and way over to the right here, you can see the bookcase now. So yeah, it's a, it's definitely a 16 by 9 such as the vertical field of view is about the same, maybe a little bit less. So when you switch, this camera to 4.3 mode, if you happen to have 4.3 goggles, um, it's going to be a disadvantage on this camera. And if you have a 16 by 9 goggle, then I think you'll have a better time with the field of view. Anyway, so it's just taking a quick look at the menu here and what you can change. So you can do mirror, you can flip the image, sharpness, color gain, gamma, uh, noise reduction. And these are all the settings that the camera came with. It didn't change anything other than I believe I switched it from NTSC, or from PAL to NTSC. I think it came in PAL mode out of the box. And this is the automatic white balance. Again, all stock settings as I always do. And these are the stock settings for exposure, brightness, shutter, EGC. I think the night set to color, language. And then the system here is you can change the Cam title, I usually turn that off, and then voltage and timer. So you can put those things on the bottom of the OSD, but I use Betaflight OSD, so I don't use those. And I'm gonna switch this back to 16 by nine. And that is it for the settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, footage from this camera at the normal park that I fly at, and compare it to some of the other cameras on my FPV camera playlist. 
and I'll put a link down in the description for additional footage um, recorded on the PowerPlay DVR. Uh, I think it's going to be sunny, cloudy, and uh, nighttime light footage. I think I'll have a, another flight in another location at nighttime. Also, at the end of this video, you guys can see what this likes, what this looks like at night when it's fairly dark. Uh, you get a good idea of how this camera performs. It performs, I think, probably, in my opinion, there is no other camera that works, works as well as this in pretty much really, really low light conditions. This is the camera you're going to want to get if you're going to be flying at night in very, very low light. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.